Exomphalos or omphalocele is a condition caused by weakness on the baby's abdominal wall at the point where umbilical cord gets into the baby. Because of this weakness, the structures inside the abdomen, especially the intestines and the liver, may protrude outside through this point into the loose sac with the cord attached or inserted to the top of this sac. What causes exomphalos? The exact cause of this condition is unknown. Up to 80% of the babies with exomphalos will have other serious problems such as abnormalities in the heart and kidneys and chromosomal problems. What tests are offered in such case? First of all, a patient needs a detailed scan performed especially when a, by an expert of the fetal medicine consultant so as to identify different abnormalities. Here we have an ultrasound of exomphalos showing abdominal wall defect, the amnion, the bowel loops, the umbilical cord cyst or the Wharton's jelly. Now, because of increased risks of chromosomal abnormalities which occur in about 30% of the cases, a patient may be offered an anamniocentesis in which a small amount of amniotic fluid is taken to help determine the baby chromosomes, whether these are normal or not. How is the baby with exomphalos delivered? There is no reason for not having a normal delivery. But if there is a chance that the structures which are lying outside are fairly large, the cesarean section may be offered to the patient. After the delivery, the baby is transferred to an ICU so that proper monitoring of the baby can be done. After the baby is born, the sac is wrapped in a protective film to reduce the heat and fluid loss. Baby is examined in order to identify any other problems. If there are associated lung problems, assistance may be required with the breathing as well. Is exomphalos an inherited condition? Exomphalos may be inherited, especially if it is not associated with chromosomal problems. If the chromosomes are normal but there are associated abnormalities, the baby may have a syndrome which is a combination of the problems. If the chromosomes or structural abnormalities are present, then the risk of the recurrence will depend upon these types of the abnormalities. This table explains the differences between omphalocele and gastrochesis. In gastrochesis, the defect is located on one side but in omphalocele, it is usually in the center. In gastrochesis, the contents are not covered by membranes while these are uh, covered by peritoneum amniotic membranes in case of omphalocele. There is no umbilical cord in case of the gastrochesis, while in case of omphalocele, the umbilical cord is inserted in the caudal area of the hernial sac. In gastrochesis, the contents include the intestines, colon, bladder, gonads. While in case of omphalocele, usually the contents include intestine, liver, spleen, colon, and bladder. Gastrochesis is rarely associated with other abnormalities which occur in usually 15% of the cases, while omphalocele is frequently associated with other congenital abnormalities which occur in about 40-80% to of the cases. Exomphalos is one of the fetal anomalies, so it's better to look at the Overall list of the fetal anomalies which include an encaphaly, hydrocaphalus, spina bifida, encephalocele, cardiac anomalies, renal anomalies, GID anomalies, torch infarctions, twin pregnancies, abnormal knuckle translucency which occurs in Down syndrome, epilepsy associated abnormalities, diabetes associated abnormalities, the different drugs, cystic hygroma, omphalocele, gastrochesis, Exomphalos, which we have explained in this video, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, meningomyelocele, duodenal hernia, choroid plexus cyst, ecogenic bowel, holoprosin caffeine, ventricular megaly, congenital pulmonary airway malformation, cleft lip and palate, fetal hydrops, duodenal atresia, carry malformation, and the Porter syndrome. This is the ultrasound view of holoprosin caffeine. Here you can see the hydrocaphalus. This is the spina bifida. This is in Caflocele. Here we have fetal cardiac anomalies, fetal renal anomalies, fetal GIT anomalies. 
This is the fetal Porter syndrome in which there are bilateral renal agenesis or bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidneys, reduced fetal urine excretion, oligohydramnios causing causing fetal compression, and also there are certain Porter facial abnormalities as well and the pulmonary hyperplasia and the limb defects. So thank you so much. That was all about exemphalos and a little bit more about other fetal anomalies. Subscribe on Ops and Gynae. Allah Hafiz.